guys, welcome back to 1776 or bus. So today we're going to talk a little bit about the shooting experience I had with a P229. And that would be this one right here, which is my six hour P229 Elite in the titanium blue. Now this firearm should not come as a surprise. What an excellent firearm to shoot. I mean, right at the end of the day, when I took this gun out and I shot 200 rounds through it, I was absolutely impressed, not only with the way the gun handled itself, but just the way the fit and finish of the gun were. The gun actually, you know, in some cases, some might pe people might say it's a little bit too big, a little bit too thick to carry, but it actually handled like a smaller gun. I didn't really feel like there was a problem. I mean, all the controls are very, very centrally located in regards to where your thumb is going to be. Um, and so I didn't really have any issues manipulating any of the controls, whether it was the, uh, the decocker or even the slide. Um, but nonetheless, the gun actually feels small in the hand when you're shooting it and it's extremely carryable extremely controllable and in my opinion is a great option for people out there who are looking to move away from polymer guns especially in a compact format such as like a glock 19 or something of that sort now the day uh actually started off with me shooting the 92x centurion as a comparison between these two while it's not ideal i have to say it's actually not that bad um, they actually have a very very similar long double action trigger pull uh in all disclosure this one is a little bit smoother because it does have langdon tactical parts in it however i have to tell you that the single actions on both of these are phenomenal the srt on this guy is just it's great i mean for like if you look at it here guys Woo, that is short and it is just super super nice to shoot this gun very manageable very easy to control the shooting experience i had was very good very positive i i really have nothing negative to say about this gun it handled different types of brass that I had with me. And overall, looking at the gun and just you know, looking at the fit and finish of everything of it. Again, this was a used gun and it looks brand new even after 200 more rounds through it. You know, the 92X Centurion is no slouch either. This gun is great. You can see even with my uh, Langdon parts in there, that's a very, very short reset and a very nice single action. So I would say that the triggers were comparable, both shot very well, but I have to say there's something, really something about the P229s that are very attractive in regards to the aesthetic look of it, but also just in the handling of it, knowing that it has an amazing track record in regards to military, law enforcement, federal agencies used it and still do. I just think the 229, in my opinion, is such a better value gun than let's say a Glock 19. Now I'm not knocking Glock, so all you Glock fanboys and girls out there, I'm not hating on Glock. But at the same time, you're, you're just getting a better build, in my opinion, in one of these firearms. It's not excessively difficult to work on. It's a fairly straightforward uh, couple of springs here and there. But other than that, it, it's really technically a very, very easy gun to work on and just make it more to your liking if you choose to do that. The trigger pull and the trigger is just in the right spot for my finger. So again, just holding that gun and just being able to zero in on what I was shooting at, although not perfect by any means whatsoever, still felt very good. It was again, very controllable, very easy to manage as a firearm. I didn't feel any slippage because it's aluminum in the lower uh, where, you know, the gun might be flopping out of your hand a little bit, which is, you know, I, I don't know if that's really true or not, but nonetheless, even with the whole grips on here, it just really stabilized the gun a little bit better. It, it does add a little bit more to the thickness and the grip than let's say the original hand or grips it came with, but I'll take that uh, trade off because I just like the way these fit a little bit better on the gun. And I do feel like they are a little bit more tactile in regards to just giving you a little bit more bite on your hands and you can see them right there. So, I mean, overall, if I'm going to recommend a gun right now, I'm not going to lie, guys, I'm going to recommend a P229. Why? Because it's a solid build, great track record, uh, great trigger on the SRT. You can always adapt and, ad and adjust what your hammer pull is going to be if you just get a new hammer spring. Again, if you do your reading, you'll know which one to put in there based on poundage and making sure you don't get light primer strikes. I did not get any on this thing. This thing was absolutely perfect, and it is truly a beast of a handgun. Now, some might say, well, the Elite is a good gun, which this is right here, but why wouldn't you get a Legion? I'm not sure if you really need a Legion at this point. I think the Legion is a amazing firearm in itself. I've never owned one because I'm not going to pay $1,400 for a SIG when I got this thing for under 1000 And the way I look at it is this gun, in my opinion, is just as good as a Legion. Yes, you get a little bit longer beaver tail and no, you don't get the gray guns trigger. But uh, again, the SRT on this and a new hammer spring on this has really juiced this gun up to just be a fantastic shooting firearm. So I'd like for you guys to leave those comments down below. If you guys wouldn't mind, uh, leave some comments. Let me know what you think about the P229. What 
what your experiences have been, if you have one or had one, and uh, if you wouldn't mind picking up one, if you could. Uh, again, these are commanding quite a price right now. Um, not really sure why. Maybe it's the demand is so high, but I can tell you that SIG is probably not producing enough of these, whereas they're really focusing on the 365 and the 320 line. But leave those comments down below. I appreciate you guys. If you wouldn't mind, subscribe and share the video if you'd like. Also, if you want to get some really nice looking lock grips here, you can pay for them on Locks website, but you get a 10% discount code uh, of 1776. When you put it down at the bottom of the page, you'll get 10% off. So uh, let me know what, what you think, guys. Look forward to hearing from you. I uh, hope you have a great night. Stay safe. And as always, freedom is never free.